again? I held you to a higher standard. You held me back. Round one, fight. All right, what is good, my boys and girls? We back. It's been a while since I made one of these kind of videos, but I wanted to make a guide on Frost for a while now. And a lot of people ask me about Frost and ask me a lot of questions. So I'm pretty much just um, making this guide now to try and get it all out there and cover it all so that anytime people ask me questions, I can just figure it all out and send this video. Before it starts, I just want to make sure that everyone is clear that I'm only going to be covering Ice Machine, which is the second variation. I don't really like playing the third variation that much. Uh, I think this one is the best one and I think it's more consistent overall. But um, if you guys really want a third variation guide, I do know how to play it pretty well. So um, feel free to ask for that in the comments. If you have any questions about any of the Frost stuff that I say or if I don't cover anything that is um, not exactly obvious, just let me know. All right, so for the most characters that I play in this game, the way I think Frost should be played is more like around the neutral and like Zony archetype, she's not really a rush down pressure kind of character in this variation. So yeah, controlling the neutral with like pokes, um, projectiles. She has a lot of options and like a lot of different tools. Like, you know, you can really mix it up against your opponent um, in the neutral especially. So I think this is probably the best way and the main thing you'll be focusing on when you're playing her. Uh, she's also like really frustrating, especially at like a kind of mid to lower level. So impatient plays do lose the frost pretty easily. So I'm just going to jump into her pros and cons now. So for the pros, obviously the big one is this her neutral is really strong. Uh, she has great anti-air, probably one of the best in the game. The back two has got a lot of range, so you can kind of check people from really far away. Down four also has a lot of range. It's pretty quick, um, 12 frames. So yeah, mixing all this together. So down four, down three, if they jump. Back two to have a little check. Um, back one obviously is a great mid as well. You can use it in neutral a little bit just by itself. Um, and obviously just all her projectiles as well, so you know, the ice cube one, the bombs, um, all of it combined, it's really annoying in neutral. Um, especially, like I said earlier, in the mid to low level, it's really, really frustrating. So um, it's something that you have to get used to. She's not exactly a traditional kind of character with her projectiles, but um, once you figure them out, they're pretty easy to use and honestly, it feels really strong. The next pro is probably just how much unbreakable damage she has. So just for example, anytime you hit an EX freeze, um, you can literally just do even at least 20% minimum unbreakable. Um, depending on what you want to do, what your route is, uh, you can decide from there, which I'll talk about later. But just the amount of damage she has and um, unbreakable damage as well is pretty strong in a game where um, breakaway is really, really good. All right, so I'm going to move into the cons now. I think Frost only really has one true big weakness, and that's just her comeback factor is really, really bad. Um, she hasn't really got great chip scenarios, like um, because you can flawless block this um, pretty easily. Uh, these are all highs, so when someone has a life lead against Frost, it's pretty easy to not um, get robbed, and like she got, she hasn't really got that rob potential. So, um, for example, like both of her throws um, push her really far away. So yeah, her back throw you don't get any Oki. Um, forward throw you also don't really get any Oki. So um, this. In MK11, this is pretty big because throws are so strong that even if you throw someone, they just get pushed away anyway. So against really good players, it's hard to make comebacks. And she doesn't really have a way to fake a throw because like one three is in a real auto shimmy. Uh, I've heard people say standing three is, but it's double high, so it's not really that good at all. Um, and it doesn't really work anyway consistently, I felt like when I played it offline. So yeah, it's pretty much just a kind of factor that's really hard to... Um, deal with sometimes, you know, when you get robbed by other characters with like really good crushing blows and um, huge damage sometimes. It's kind of annoying when you're playing Frost and you don't really have that kind of factor much. So now I'm going to get into her normals. Uh, she has some pretty good normals. Back one is probably the best one that she has. It's an 11 frame mid, hit confirmable, full combo. And even if they block it, um, I'll show you quickly. It resets almost to neutral um, against some characters. So there's a lot of pushback there. Uh, some characters don't really have a guaranteed check. A lot of characters don't have a guarantee check actually. So you can do things like back one, two, one, back dash, or like um, back one, two, one, down one, or down four. You know, there's a lot of options there um, depending on the matchup and the characters and the player you're playing against. There's a lot of options. A lot of people like to jump after it sometimes, so you can kind of wait for anti as well there. And you can also jump after it too, which is a pretty good option. But yeah, back one is awesome. Uh, if it hits, obviously you can just combo into EX freeze. Um, and if it's blocked, you can pretty much just push them away from you anyway. 
So yeah, probably one of her best normals and strings there. Alright, now I'm going to get into down 4. Probably my favourite normal that she has. Uh, I love really being annoying in this game. Uh, in pretty much every game that I play, so... Uh, having a long range poke like this is awesome. It has a lot of range, controls the neutral pretty well. It's like really good at making them uh, want to jump. So you, you use this a lot to make them jump, and then when they start jumping... That's when the down theory comes into play. Um, a lot of people do like to jump against Frost, especially in the mid level. Um, a lot of people think jumping is always the answer. When obviously jumping at Frost, not a very good idea because this anti is so strong. Um, but sometimes you kind of have to because her down two, I mean her down four and her back two are really, really annoying. And she has some pretty good projectiles as well. So you kind of have to jump at her a little bit. But it's such a consistent anti and does pretty decent damage that. It makes people pretty scared um, and forces them to stay on the ground eventually. I'm going to get into her back two. This is 19 frames. It's kind of slow, but it's actually pretty good. Um, it does have a gap in the full stream, which I'll show you quickly. So, yeah, if they block the string, they can force block the second hit, and you can't do anything about it to stop them from doing it, really. Um, nothing really that's consistent and safe enough to, to be worth it. So, the only time you really use it is just sometimes by itself is pretty good. And if you get a really big whiff punish, um, you do the full string for the crushing blow and stuff like that. Alright, now I'm going to talk about her 4-2. You don't see it too often because it's not that good. Um, but it does have some uses. It's a 19 frame high, but it doesn't beat crouch blocking, which is kind of weird. And it's just one of those highs in the game that it's not really used for block pressure or anything. But yeah, it doesn't beat crouch blocking, which is kind of annoying. But it catches people walking away. And if they're stand blocking, um, I'm pretty sure... It's zero on block, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to make sure really quick. So yeah, if they're stand blocking, it ends up being zero. Um, which isn't crazy good for Frost or anything, but I mean, it's pretty good if they do end up blocking it. Instead of crouch blocking at least. So the only reason you would ever really use this is if you can't get a punish from close enough. So it's like you have to do 4-2. Um, which does happen in some cases. Or if um, people are just walking back constantly, not blocking. They're just walking away like this. That's when 4-2 kind of comes into play and it's pretty good. But other than that, I wouldn't use it too much um, because it's pretty risky and the reward is not that good either. All right, now I'm going to get into her strings. I kind of did um, explain them a little bit when I was talking about the normals, but I kind of wanted to just go into them a little bit more. So um, Frost doesn't need to use that many strings to play her, like I think, optimally or very close to it. Um, but the strings that she uses are pretty good. So make sure to, you know, experiment with the strings that she has um, and... Use which ones you like the most and experiment. Work them into your game plan. I only use really like three or four at most, but um, yeah, you can kind of look into your own ones if there's any that I don't mention that you like to use. So this is just the way I like to play Frost. So like I said before, back one, two, one is just insane. It's probably one of the best mid strings in the game just because of how much pushback it has. Um, and it's really good reward. So no risk, lots of reward. Um, this is the string you'll be using in like Literally like 90% of the situations when you're close to your opponent. And if they if it hits, like I said before, it's hit confirmable, very easy hit confirm. It's pretty slow, so like like the second hit's kind of slow, so you get a lot of time to hit confirm it. Um, and it's really good for punishes because it's such a true mid. They can't low profile it or anything. Um, you can kind of stagger with back one too, which I'll show you now really quick. Um, it's not the best, but it has a little bit of pushback. And if a lot of people are waiting for the full hit, um, full string, sorry, then it kind of works as a little mix, but usually you just do back one, two, one to push them away. You can even do back one, two spin as well if you really wanted to. It's a little less minus, but they're kind of right in front of you, so um, you lose your turn definitely there. All right, next I'm going to get into two, two. Um, it's kind of a tricky one to use because the first and second hit, the frames in between is very slow. So if people duck the standing two, you usually get interrupted on the second part. Um, but you can just use the re-stand, which I'll show you quickly. Um, to get a guaranteed one. It's not really good mid-screen, because um, if it hits mid-screen, you can't actually get EX freeze. All you can get is um, spin, or you can do lunge. But usually, I would only use this in the corner. So, uh, I'll show you quickly what it's like in the corner. So, if they block you in the corner, you're pretty much right in front of them. You get a pretty much guaranteed back one almost because you're plus five on block which is just crazy um so yeah being plus five is pretty good here because you can just do a little micro walk throw you can do uh, micro walk one three try and give them a little mix micro walk delay micro walk back one like you can do so many options here 
Uh, a lot of people will press buttons here, especially because not many people use this string, so... Um, you'll be surprised how many people actually just get hit, like, right after they block it for the first time, at least. Um, so yeah, against people that don't like to block much, once you get this on the reset, at least in the corner, they're probably going to mash after it, so... Yeah, try and use this a little bit, but I don't use it too much, just a little bit. Um, against opponents that have been respecting me for a while. And now I'm going to get into back to 2 really quick. So, like I said earlier, back to 2 is flawless block wall. Can't really do much um, to stop them from doing it. But if they don't have bar to flawless block it, or if you catch a with punish, back to 2 is actually pretty good. So if you're close enough, back to 2 will link into EX freeze. But um, if you're too far, it doesn't actually connect. So I'll try and show you here. So yeah, like that. Um, if you're too far and you know that you're too far, you can just um, you can turn into this one. It's actually doable to just do both, um, but it is pretty tricky, but the main time you'll be using this is when you catch a really big whiff, like if you bait a shimmy, like in a whiff down two, or like if you catch a really far away whiff, that's when you'll be using this to get the crush combo combo. Um, you can also confirm if it's counter hit or not. If it was counter hit, um, they would get crushing blade obviously, and if it hits, you would just do EX freeze if you're close enough. So I can't really show you counter hit situation because uh, it just doesn't work with the recording properly. But, um, yeah, you can you can definitely confirm both, so it's something you need to practice and get used to in games. It, it is a little bit tricky at first, but regardless of, I mean, whether or not if it's counter hit or if it's regular hit, you can choose to do the crushing blow or do the um, EX freeze combo. Usually mid-screen, it's never worth doing the crushing blow, so just stick to it in the corner, and I'll, I'll show you the combo later for that as well. But usually mid-screen, you're just going to use this into EX freeze or um, by itself. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to get into is 4-3, so you wouldn't have seen it too much because honestly not many Frost players use it. Um, it's plus 3 on block, which is pretty good. Um, it does also have a hit confirm in it, so if it, if it hits, both hits, you can just confirm into this, uh, which is very easy. But usually they'll only get hit by the second part anyway, so yeah, if they do block this, uh, you can be, you're right in front of them, you can choose to do throw... Or you can do down one, back one, you know, there's a lot of options there, um, seeing as you're plus three. Um, but that's really your choice, you can kind of figure it out from there. Not many people will use it. It's pretty good in the corner because you can you confirm it into EX Freeze, which I'll show you quickly now. So yeah, if it hits in the corner, you can get EX Freeze, it's really good. Um, you get pretty good damage from it as well, so that's just um, one of your other options that you can use. These are really the only strings I think you need to use at first, especially. Um, if you get good with these strings and these strings alone, your fundamentals will like be really, really strong. If you don't rely on like any other gimmicky random kind of strings. So yeah, those are the main strings that I use. I don't really use any other ones outside of combos. So just stick to those um, while you're learning Frost, I think. And you'll be on your way to becoming really strong with Frost pretty quickly. Right, so now I'm going to get into Frost's special moves. The first one is going to be Barrier. This is a really weird one at first and it kind of took me a while to get used to it and like figure out when it's worth actually using it and how to use it properly. It's not crazy strong or anything, but it's kind of like an extra layer to your zoning against characters that can like kind of counter zone you, but not really. So it helps in some matchups, definitely something you can throw out pretty safe. Like it recovers very quickly, only like 24 frames. Um, so yeah, you can kind of use this even kind of closer or further away. It's really up to you. Um, a lot of people also like kind of hesitate when they see it come out because they're not really sure what to do. Um, in terms of the neutral, especially if they're a zoner, like when you throw this out against zoners, they kind of just get shook and don't really know what to do. Unless they have a like really good projectile, then it's kind of good against the other ones that are like not super strong zoners, but they have the projectile um, option as well. All right, next thing I'm going to talk about is the bombs. So these are actually really, really strong. Um, if they hit, they do pretty good damage. They do 7%. Uh, the knockdown's really, really strong and they're active forever. So it's kind of hard for people to walk it down properly because it's so active and they also kind of like anti-air as well so if people jump try and jump over the bombs they usually will get hit um just one thing to add is that she has um all different ranges with the bombs so you can do close uh medium and far so you can kind of choose which ones you want to do they recover pretty quickly once they actually come out so uh yeah you can use these quite a bit in the neutral it just depends how close you are to the opponent and um what characters you're fighting against, but usually they're honestly a pretty safe option a lot of the time. Alright, next I'm going to get into her blade spin, so down forward 2. This is awesome to end your strings in for a bit of extra chip and still be minus 4. Um, I don't use it too much on block, um, but it does an extra bit of chip and if you EX it, it does a lot more chip as well. 
It's really good to chip your opponent out at the end of games. Like, EX is just nuts. Um, be careful though, because some strings into it um, don't jail. But the main one that you use is back once you into it anyway, so... And back two as well, they both jail, so... No issues there. Blade Spin's also like your best combo ender because it's like plus 48 on hit, I'm pretty sure. So, oh yeah, plus 49. So it's so plus on hit that um, you have so much hit advantage, you can actually usually get Oki off of it. Or at least get way better Oki than if you ended in this. So um, yeah, usually you end in this if you want to get like some pressure or get some Oki. But if you just want the damage, you would end in backward four. Alright, next special move I'm going to talk about is her Cryo Stance. The, I call it the Ice Cubes, but you can call it whatever you want. Um, it's pretty, pretty good. The meterless one is great. Uh, it controls a lot of the space. Like it gets people um, ducking. They're kind of waiting for it a lot more. Uh, the EX one catches a lot of people that try and push forward after the after you condition them a lot with meterless. Um, but one thing to mention is you can always flawless block this EX ice cube. So I'll show you that really quick. Yeah. So no matter what, you can always flawless block this string. Um, I mean this special move. Sorry. So it's not like the best chip tool, but it's mainly just for control, um, kind of just to set people up to make mistakes. It's also pretty good behind this when you have um, when you have barrier out and there's a zoner, you can kind of get this pretty free. So yeah, um, this is when I think it's good. All right, next special move is Cyberhead. Um, I never use this outside of one corner combo, so that's all I'm going to say on it. So next is going to be her lunge. Um, it's mainly using combos, and you'll never ever do it on block. If you don't have meter, you usually he can firm into um, lunge for the most damage. And anytime a jump kick hits, you can also he can firm into the lunge as well. So if you spend bar um, in a combo um, with mid lunge at the end, it actually does a lot of damage and it's got a launcher um, with it as well. So basically, the consensus with Frost is if you want Oki, you end in this. If you want damage, you end in this. Um, you can also stop the KB up if you want if you hit 3. So uh, that's up to you. I don't use it too much because um, it just costs a lot of meter. But if you do want to get the KB, it's pretty easy to get. It's not that hard. All right, last special we're going to talk about now is her microburst. I usually just call it freeze, but technically it is called microburst. Um, this is your go-to special move if you, you confirm if you have meter. Uh, once frozen, you can like decide to go for unbreakable damage, or you can make them break away. All the strings link into this, so like one three her fastest punish, um, back one her best mid. Um, three, four, another fast type that does the most damage. Um, pretty much anything in mid screen that you actually want to use will combo into EX freeze that you need to use. So pretty much always he can firm into this. Also, I just want to quickly talk about Frost Fatal Blow. Um, it's really good. It's 17 frames and it goes literally the full screen. Uh, it is a high, and if they duck or block it, even from like pretty far away, they can usually punish it because it's so minus. Um, but it's really good to punish people that try and throw projectiles when you're low on health, um, which they shouldn't anyway, but it does happen quite a bit. And um, if you catch on whiffing from even close or far away, you can usually whiff punish it with Fatal Blow because it's so fast. Um, so yeah, use this um, carefully because like I said, it is risky when it's like in the mid range. But far away, it's usually kind of safe, so you can kind of get away with it. But mid greenish and closer, don't use it too much, um, mainly just when you're far away and you see like a twitch or a projectile come out. All right, next up, we're gonna talk about her crushing blows. So she's not the craziest character in terms of her crushing blows, but most of the ones that you that she does have, you can use in game somewhat consistently, but she's not really some crazy crushing blow character Like it's gonna use them 24 seven. Um, so first off, I'm gonna talk about her throw. So because her offense isn't too crazy, she does have a crushing blow on both of her throws. Since the new update where you can only get one crushing blow throw per game, it's made her offense a little bit weaker, but you can usually get the chance to hit this once a game. Um, like if you use your mids enough and mix them up uh, with left and right throw, usually you get an escape failed at least once a game. So this is probably her best crushing blow to be honest, because you can usually scare people a lot with it. Um, once you have this loaded, a lot of people try and jump or duck. So um, yeah, use that to your advantage. I like to throw people out of the corner a lot to get the escape failed, so that's just something I like to do, but you can really do what you want with your throw game. That's just the way I like to get it the most. Uh, the next one I'm going to talk about is her back two crushing blow. It's not the craziest crushing blow to get, it's not super hard, but it's not super easy either. If your confirms are good, um, you should be able to counter hit combo this um, on confirm and EX freeze if it's normal hit. Um, mid screen, honestly, it's not really ever worth using this because 
mid screen all you can do is this um, which is not that much damage it's only two um, 26% which is not really worth it um, but in the corner I'll just quickly show you an example I'll have a combo video later uh, you can get like a lot more damage uh, just that's just the start of the comic for example and it has a follow-up as well so um, in the corner it's really good there and your opponent if they have breaker they will probably use it like 100% if they get hit by this in the corner so um, try and keep it for the corner don't go too crazy mid screen with it because it's just never really worth it unless it's gonna kill I would probably never use a mid screen to be honest right, last KB is her lunch KB so um, if you meet a this three times, oops. If you meet a this three times, uh, the last, the fourth one, meterless will crush and blow. Um, if it hits, you get a little follow up, which I'll show you now. Oh, I dropped it. My bad. There we go. Um, you can just spin or back forward for the same thing, but it's around like 28%. Um, it's not the worst. If you actually get it loaded up, it's pretty good because you can, he can firm meterlessly into like launches like this. Um, but like I said, you don't really use it that much, um, because you have to spend three bars just to get the crushing blow loaded. But, I mean, it's pretty good. Jump kick into, um, into lunge meter bone is probably the most consistent way you'll get it loaded. Unless you want to just end all your combos in it anyway. But usually it's not exactly worth it just to go for this one. Um, if you don't have any meter, it's really good. And, like, literally any combo, even if you do, like, the launcher combos, um, you can end in the lunge KB. Just for a little bit of extra damage and get a little follow up as well. So that's your choice though, um, how you want to use it. I usually don't use it much every game, like I kind of just spend my bar on EX freeze instead. But I mean, that's really your choice. Um, I don't think it's the worst KB, but it's nothing crazy either. Okay, now we're going to talk about her pressure and her mix up kind of game. I just want to say that this is the only way I play Frost. Um, some people will play it differently, you know, more rush down, more crazy. Um, so find your own style, don't try and just listen to exactly what I say and copy it. Uh, I'm a very safe player. I think that's the most consistent way to play this game, at least for me, and the way I like to play pretty much all my fighting games. Um, so yeah, I like to play it really safe, but that's really your choice. You can kind of do what you want there. Um, I'm just trying to give you a guide on how to play the character. You can mix it up from there. So in comparison to other characters in MK11, Frost is a pretty honest character in terms of her pressure and mix-up. Uh, especially in Ice Machine at least. Um, there's not really much pressure there, so most of your damage is going to come from the neutral um, and punishes rather than like making your opponent guess like 50 50s and stuff like that. Um, her second game is like kind of average and her plus frames aren't really that big of a deal mid screen. It's mostly um, in the corner where you're going to be doing the most pressure, I guess, or rush down if you want to call it that. But most of the time, I just play a very simple game, you know, throws a lot. Um, most people will, will be good at taking throws against Frost because, like I said, she doesn't have a way to fake it. But one of her best um, ways to open people up is doing delay. So, like, delay back one is really strong against people. Um, delay throw. And yeah, really just mixing it up like that, you know, moving around a lot is really good with her. Her jump kick, her jump kick is really strong as well. So you can kind of use that in some sort of pressure. Um, to, you know, when you've mixed it up a lot with, like, back one staggers, you can do, like, back one jump, back one down one. You know, there's a lot of little options, but... Nothing is really crazy pressure-wise. Um, your pressure is more so like in the neutral kind of pressure. It's a little bit different. It's not necessarily um, block pressure. It's more like you're just putting fear into them just by you know throwing out all these little normals and um, things in the neutral like that. If you want to play a rush down kind of frost, uh, I'd suggest probably playing the third ration, which, like I said, I can do a guide if you guys really want one. Um, but for now, second ration is pretty honest. Um, the probably the best thing you'll get for pressure is. If you hit an EX freeze, you can always do 344 and you're plus um, 16. So that pretty much guarantees you. I'll show you now. Whoops, my bad. So yeah, if you hit a 344, um, this will guarantee you a 1 4, I mean a 1 3. And if they duck, you get EX freeze combo. And if they jump, you get EX freeze. If they do anything besides block, um, they'll get hit by the 1 3. So it's pretty strong. Um, it gets you kind of like a three, a free throw slash um, um, button mix up, but it's nothing too crazy. And high level, it's not the it's not the best. But a lot of people get caught off guard by this, and it's not bad. So I would suggest using it sometimes. All right, now I'm gonna get to her combos. So she's a really fun combo character. You have a lot of options to choose from, like I said before. 
You know, you can do Unbreakable with uh, EX3s. You can choose the corner carry instead and make them break. Um, you know, there's the restand if you want to do the restand. You can do Oki with Downfall 2, um, or you can send them full screen with the lunge. So yeah, this is where you get to kind of choose your style and like, you know, express yourself a bit more with Frost and figure out how you like to play her. Um, I'm just going to give you the main basic combos that you'll use that are reliable, consistent. And um, I'll show you a few that you probably won't use too often, but they might show up in a game if you, you know, you're fishing for it or something like that. I just want to quickly add that if you don't have meter, any meters punish, um, you can decide to come on to spin for better hit advantage. So you're, so you're way more plus, so you can like get in their face. Um, but if you confirm to this, you get a little bit more damage. It's not much, but the damage is a little bit more and you can send them full screen. So the choice is yours there. Um, this is the same for any time you hit an EX freeze combo. Just um, I'll be using back forward 4 for most of the enders, but you can also just do spin for the Oki as well. So that choice is yours, you can make it yourself, but um, just so you know what the choice is there. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Um, Frost is pretty simple, but it will take you a little bit to get used to her just because she's kind of different. But base game plan, pretty simple, um, easy to apply to real matches. Uh, all the combos I showed you there are probably the only ones you really need to use. There's a few other ones, but you'll just kind of figure them out anyway. They're all pretty much the same. Um, so I hope this really helped you guys out, anyone that wanted to learn Frost. Uh, if you want the third ration, let me know. If you have any questions about the whole guide, please comment below. Um, let me know. Also, I really appreciate it if you guys just give me feedback on it. It doesn't have to be good or bad. Just I just want to know um, how to get better at these because they're really fun, but it is kind of hard because it's a lot of work. So I just want to know how to make it even better for you guys or if there's anything I didn't do. Um, so yeah, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to try and be more consistent on the YouTube channel. Uh, appreciate you all watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.